Hey what's up everyone this is Nash and I'm back with Rome review. So today we are going to have a look at Resurrection Remix for OnePlus One based on Android 7.1. It's a CM based ROM. This ROM is bringing new original improvement and some unique features which I will talk about later on. It's pre-rooted and it has amazing OTA updates inbuilt. This ROM is kind of beast ROM. It's filled with features like there are so many features that you can brag about it all day. You can find all the features and customization in one tab called configurations. And features are network traffic indicators, heads up, disable or enable, CM privacy guard, status bar customization, notification panel customization, recent apps customization, lock screen like you can put app shortcut on lock screen, gestures, animations and hundred other kind of features are in built the room. I will give the list of features in the description box below. Kernel editor is in built so you can overclock or underclock your phone. Now there is one amazing feature, I don't know if it's a Resurrection Remix exclusive feature or it's available in other rooms as well. It's called Fling Mode. So it replaces your old 3 button navigation and make it look like one button and full tiny swipe screen navigation. It looks very good and the feature is just amazing. You can adjust small swipe, long swipe, full swipe and you can configure what you want to open or what you want to do with this swipe. For example, like on right side, when I swipe up, it opens the chrome. Now this kind of feature makes the room stand out from all other rooms out there. So that was customization and features. Now let's talk about performance of the room. The room is very smooth, scrolling from apps, recent apps and you can open any apps and it doesn't lag at all. And Android Nougat runs very smoothly on this room, although a reason was given by OnePlus not to update OnePlus One to Android Nougat that it was not compatible with Android Nougat. I mean, come on man OnePlus, you are saying that. Anyways, there is no random reboot, battery life was average though, 3 hours off screen on time. Now let's talk about some negative things about the room, battery as mentioned above it's not good at all and there is no Cyanogen mode theme engine now that's one feature that I always want in all the rooms like if it's not there layers should be pre-installed by default apart from that there is no bugs in the room definitely can use it for daily driver I would give three and a half out of five to this room I would give more if battery life was little bit good and if there was Cyanogen mode theme engine so that's it for today guys Please like this video if it was helpful to you, share this video with other Flashaholic friends and please comment below which room review you want to see in the next video and if you somehow survived this video so far, this is Nash and I'm really glad you are here. In the meanwhile, keep flashing my friends.